Okay, so hello everyone. My name is Sadman and I'm a second year computer science student studying at City University of London. In this video, I'm going to be actually giving you my first year computer science degree overview. So I'm going to go through all the mods that I have done last year and a few tips about them so how you can deal with them. So the main purpose of this video is to make you more uh, more relaxed, feel more relaxed. I know guys you are anxious, so those of you who have got offer from CG University, congratulations first of all, you got an offer, so that's good. Be relaxed, you don't have to be stressed about. Guys, I was in your shoes two years ago, so I know how that feels like. Disclaimer guys, people will tell you, oh you know, it's the toughest degree in the world, this isn't that, but guys, first year CS at CT is not tough it's tough challenging but of course you can uh, you can uh, deal with it so i'm going to go through a few modules that i have done last year and uh, some of the tips first of all i want to tell you that something has changed so they have added a new module called i think computer science in society or something like that uh, last year i didn't have the module but i had a combined module in database and web development so now they're not doing database but they're doing only web development as 15 credit and they're doing those yeah a separate module most of the module gonna be the same so yeah now i'm gonna explain about the british university system in university how that work is that you're gonna have two semester per year so one semester going, gonna go from uh, beginning of the academic year which is roughly about september to january and the second one is gonna be from uh, february to end of the academic year which is uh, may or june so the first module that i want to talk about is uh, system architecture this is a 15 credit module so 15 credit modules means that is worth uh, for one whole semester 30 credit module is that module that goes for uh, throughout the year so uh, two semester length that's 30 15 just one semester so system architecture was indeed my first year in my first semester system architecture is mainly about analyzing in a very low level the computer hardware as well as software so you're going to be looking at the history of the computer then you're looking at the very simple computer which is Mary architecture you're going to be analyzing pipelining and parallelism also you can be looking at memory memory hierarchy all those stuff is very interesting guys i'm not gonna lie it helps you to sort of understand how a computer works and uh, the assessment in that module was a uh, 100 coursework and when they say coursework they don't really mean b tech type of coursework those writing stuff they mean is a multiple choice question so i had about i think seven multiple choice question each every week and then i had a final quiz that was i think uh, worth 30 percent of the module mark sometime in january last year one advice that i can give you about this module is that make sure you do read fully all the powerpoint slides they upload on uh, moodle also make sure you attend the lecture obviously don't miss labs but i did miss labs and i still got i think 70 percent on the module so yeah <laughs> and it's not very hard this module guys you can easily pass and of course get good marks on it the second module that i have done last year is uh, mathematics for computing and this also is a 15 credit module this is one of the modules that i literally loved guys someone who don't like math Guys, I never liked math. Not in primary school, not in high school, not in secondary. But degree maths is a completely different thing, guys. A maths in degree level is so much interesting because you're going to be studying things that you need in a, in, a, in a real life. So even if you're struggling in a GCC math or A-level math, just don't worry about it. In degree, you're going to be fine. And when it comes to assessment for the math module, I think I had three uh, multiple choice questions. And then I had a final big exam that was, I think, 70% of the module mark, written exam sometime last year in January. Guys, one thing that I can recommend you, you have to be doing everything that is on the tutorial. So last year, they had a video after each exercise. I would say watch all of those videos, guys. Also, the past paper that they upload on the module, make sure you do every single quiz on them. So just compare the difference between between the each year past paper understand the similarity and then uh, just do all of those exercises so that you can really really prepare yourself because the exam gonna be based on the past paper so yeah it's worth really to understand all of the question and be able to do all of them the next module that i'm going to talk about is the introduction to algorithm this was a 15 credit module in my first year second semester this module was uh, pretty straightforward in my opinion you're gonna be looking at different sorting algorithm like merge sort quick sort and also you're going to be looking at big O notation big O of n big O of n square and all those other stuff I think this module was a fully coursework or MCQs then there was this task of writing something in a pseudocode any advice for this module well um only advice that I can give you is uh make sure that you attend lectures as well as the tutorials reading algorithm in my opinion is very hard I can I still cannot read algorithm the next module that I'm going to talk about is Java Java is one of those 30 credit modules so that goes throughout the year I found it very hard actually in my opinion because I'm not good at programming guys even though i don't know 
I look like I'm good in programming, but now, guys, I'm not. I'm very bad at programming. The first semester was just just introduction to Java, uh, a race in Java, uh, loop, the cool concept of Java. And then on second semester, we had a different lecture and we learned even more stuff like uh, pol like polymorphism and all those other object oriented stuff. And we had to build a game. So the game that I built was uh, is basically a platform game. The second semester was pretty difficult. So we had also the final state machine all this other stuff. One advice that I can give you is um, now that you have a plenty of time, I highly encourage you to spend at least a few weeks learning the bare concept of Java or, or any object oriented programming language because you're gonna need if you're gonna study in City University. When it comes to assessment in this module, I think first part I had a Viva, I had one uh, a task where I had to write a code. So that was for my first semester. And then I had uh, uh, three assignments to submit about my game. So I, sh I had to show the progress. The next module that I had is a database and web development. This was also the 30 credit module. So Java and database and web development, these were my two 30 credit module last year. So in this module, the first semester, we looked at uh, the database, core concept of database, and we learned SQL language to build and functioning database. And on the second semester, we learned web development. So we learned HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP, and we created a simple website. And when it comes to the assessment for this module, on the first semester, I had to submit writing tasks. On the second task was uh, mainly about you creating the database. For the second semester, we had uh, one large submission of the actual website. We also ha had, I think, few multiple choice questions. And then finally, I had operating system. This is 15 credit. This was one of the trickiest modules that I had last year. <laughs> so you have to be really understanding the lectures. Just go through over and over again. They were mostly about MCQs. I can't remember if I had any exams on January. But no, they were mostly about coursework. That's all. I had uh, three, four, five, six module last year, where two of them were 30 credit module. The good thing is that you, you're not going to find like a whole semester of doing very, very hard stuff. It's not going to be like that. It's going to be balanced. Let's say you have two sort of okay module and then two big hard module. And the next semester you're going to have, let's say, one or two difficult module with the one or two sort of easy module. So you're going to be balanced so that you can have time. So yeah, it's going to be fine, actually. It's not terribly bad. The only module that I'm very worried about, guys, and I, I highly encourage you to really understand that, is the uh, operating system and Java. These two are the, the most trickier module that I found last year. Apart from these two, everything else just you can do it. It's not a big deal. And guys, uh, that's all for this video, guys. I hope you found it interesting and enjoyable. <coughs> these were my older models that I had last year, guys. And of course, guys, don't worry. Good things that you go offer, you'll be fine, guys. Be relaxed, be less tense. And guys, I'm always here to help you <laughs> in case you need it. So make sure to comment down below if you, need it, if you if you have any question or email me privately, guys, if you want to ask me any particular question about any modules or anything you'd like to know. And guys, I'll see you in the next one. See you later, guys. Goodbye.